March 1994. I'm still a telemarketer and some other things that we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, there might be some background noise in this video because it's a beautiful day and I have the window open. So who knows if there's going to be motorcycles going by or whatever. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Let's get to the books. First book of March 19. 94 is by the gun by richard matheson and this is a collection of six western old western whatever you want to call it tales by richard matheson uh and it's richard matheson so they're good what else is there to say uh i really dig his westerns he's i mean he's just a fantastic writer um and these are you know just fun interesting sometimes horrific tense thrilling stories there you go all right had to turn the page next up we got a couple non-fiction two in a row so book number two is but i digress by peter david and this is just a collection of columns peter david wrote in the comic buyer's guide um and as a fan of peter david's comic book writing novels uh, I like his sense of humor. <clears throat> I read this, and uh, yeah, it's it's fun. There's behind the scenes things in the comic industry, and uh, you know he can talk about serious subjects. He can lighten some serious subjects, but he does, you know, take some things pretty seriously as well. It's just good stuff. If you're interested in that kind of thing, it's a good book. All right. Here we go. Book number three. Now, I could have left this book off the list. You would never know. No one would know if I just never told you that I read this book. But I'm not going to do that to you. This is this is open and an, an open and honest place. It's a safe place for everybody. But I will say now I could I could say, hey, this was a big book. Everybody was reading it. Someone recommended it. So I figured, what the hell? Because there are books like that. We're going to have books like that on this list. But not today. Um, but, you know what? I'm not going to cheat you like that. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is that at this point, I was uh, involved with an older woman. A much more experienced woman. And so, I went to the library and I got this book. So, book number three that I read in March of 1994 is How to Satisfy a Woman Every Time and Have Her Beg for More by Nora Hayden. Um, now, the thing with this book is, I believe Ms. Hayden uh, is Christian, was a Christian. I don't know if she's still around. And so, uh, right off the bat, uh, her entire advice involves missionary position. And her, the actual advice for this technique is a few pages long. That's it. The rest of the book, it's about 140 pages. I looked it up. Um, is about relationships and all these other things. And it's all from a Christian point of view which is fine if you're a Christian, but it's not necessarily, at least in her case, not necessarily the best advice or best. She's not necessarily the best person to be giving sex advice. It's one thing, one very simple, plain, well, I don't know, but uh, the rest of, oh, and, and she's selling products throughout the book recommending you buy this and you buy that, other things of hers, other things of uh, people she's associated with. I don't know. But it's out of 140 pages, it's like 10 pages of actual, this is how you satisfy a woman every time, and the rest is, uh, you know, make sure you compliment your wife when she has dinner on the table on time and, uh, and buy this other stuff. So anyway, yes, I read this book, and I read it because 
I was a little scared. I was a little intimidated by this woman that I was seeing. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, the next book I read was Cutthroat by Michael Slade of Headhunter and the other book I read by Michael Slade, and I can't remember the name of off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, and Michael Slade is actually more than one person. But this one is about uh, a serial killer in San Francisco, but there are three different storylines, um, I think even three different timelines, that are all going to come together as investigators, detectives, whatever, try to find this serial killer. Michael Slade, a uh, good writer. Um, a lot of stuff that I have not read by Michael Slade, but what I have read is really good. Uh, thrilling, you know, they're thrillers, they're graphic, and they're, they're really interesting. Lots of twists and turns, good stuff. Then we have Ceremony by Robert B. Parker, a Spencer book. This is the one that introduces us to April Kyle. I've talked about this many times because I've read it many times. Um, I love how this book ends. Uh, April Kyle is a runaway. Spencer's hired to find her. I'm not going to tell you anything else. You should really, you know, if you have any interest at all in uh, detective fiction, mysteries, private eyes, whatever, um, you, should be, you should read the Spencer books. At least the earliest ones. The first, I don't know, fifteen or twenty. After that, I can't say I can't say anything about the the post Robert B. Parker Spencer books because I haven't read any of them. I don't believe. But anyway, this is one of my favorites. Then we have the penultimate book for March of 1994 is Q and Law by Peter David. This is a Star Trek: The Next Generation book. Uh, Captain Picard is overseeing. The wedding between these two rival merchant families and Q shows up and, you know, messes everything up. And I believe, based on the cover, that uh, Deanna Troy's mother, Lwaxana, that's her name. I couldn't think of it until just this moment. Lwaxana Troy, I think, is in this. And she's always she's always fun when she was in episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, but again, Peter David, love his writing. Uh, and I really dig his Star Trek stuff, so there you go. And then finally, the last book for March of 1994 is Batman Duel to the Death by Geary, however you say his name, Gravel, Gravel, I don't, I have no idea. Uh, this is a, an original novel based on Batman the Animated Series, and it's Two-Face versus Batman, um... I don't really know what makes a, a Batman novel animated series versus just like a regular Batman novel. Maybe it's a little more kid-friendly. I don't know. But anyway, I mean, I dig this stuff. I loved the animated series, and I enjoyed these books. They were, you know, fun Batman novels to read. All right, so that's it. That's all I have for March of 1994. My question for this video is, uh, have you ever read a book that you are embarrassed to admit that you read? Now, you can, I mean, obviously, you can do whatever you want, but you could just say yes or no. Or, you know, if you really want to join in the conversation, you can tell us what it was. Um, I have shared with you. Um, so, if you ever read anything that you really, you know, you kind of... Were you were you hiding? Did you have a newspaper in front of in front of Fifty Shades of Grey while you were reading it on the bus? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, comments, or corrections, please put those in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here on my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. All that normal YouTube stuff. If you'd care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronan5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith 5757 That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H-5757. That is all I've got for you this week. So until next week, read more books.